Hey y'all, it's Zeno here with another Bellatra tutorial video. Today, we're going to be talking about 10 hidden game mechanics in Bellatra. Bellatra in general does not handhold you through the game and there's a ton to learn on your own. However, even then, there are some game mechanics that you just might not be aware of. In today's video, we're gonna go through 10 of the most important ones so that you can go into your games as prepared as possible. Number one. Holding a consumable card or a joker will mean it will not show up in shops, packs, or other spawns unless you have a showman or in the case of planet cards, the telescope voucher. This means that if you are holding a death tarot card, for example, in your consumable slot and open up a tarot pack without the showman joker, there's no chance that death will populate in that pack. Now note, this can be used to your advantage as you can hold a planet or consumable card that you don't want to populate in packs or shops and that way you can avoid getting a bunch of fluff by just holding that fluff in your consumable slots. Number two, one of the mo more fun hidden mechanics is that of Gross Michelle and Cavendish. Gross Michelle is a joker that gives a solid flat plus 15 molt, but has a one in four chance of disappearing or going extinct at the end of each round. Cavendish is the most powerful common joker in the game, granting times three molt with a 1 in 1,000 chance of disappearing after a round. However, Cavendish will only populate in the shops, packs, or otherwise if Gross Michelle has gone extinct under your possession. This means that you cannot find Cavendish without first finding, buying, and having Gross Michelle go extinct on you. Due to how great Cavendish is, this makes Gross Michelle an almost must-buy in the shop. And as Bellatro University, aka Dr. Spectred would say, you always want to bet on banana. Number three, speaking of shops and spawns, Glass Joker, Stone Joker, Lucky Cat, and Steel Joker will not spawn until you have at least one card with the respective enhancement associated with that Joker. So let me explain. For example, Glass Joker gives X Molt for every glass that breaks, but will not spawn in shops, packs, or otherwise until you have one glass card in your deck. For Stone Joker, the same goes for Stone Cards, Lucky Cat Joker, Lucky Cards, and Steel Joker for Steel Cards. This means that if you wanted to avoid spawning any of these Jokers in your shops and taking up space in your packs, you could avoid playing any of those enhancements on cards. But just know that if you are looking to play these Jokers or you want to collect them for, you know, getting completionist plus plus for example you are going to have to get that enhancement onto a card and then you now have that ability for any of these for that joker to spawn in the shop in a pack or otherwise the next secret mechanic is the secret hands there are three secret hands that are not shown until you have played it at least once in that run those hands are five of a kind which is five of any one rank flush house which is a full house all of the same suit and flush five which is five of the same card when it comes to rank and suit. These secret hands also have an associated planet card that will not spawn in shops, packs, or otherwise until that hand has been played at least once on the run. Now note, there is one other hand, a royal flush. However, the royal flush borrows from the straight flush. So if you upgrade your straight flush via Neptune, your royal flush is also upgraded. However, it does technically count as its own hand so for a boss like the mouth it's important to note that if you play a royal flush you can't play any old straight flush you'd have to play another royal flush so two for one in this number four um it, hidden mechanics tips and tricks all right on the number five wild cards trigger as every single suit that means if you had a lusty joker which gives plus four molt for every heart and an arrowhead joker which gives plus 50 chips per speed the wild card would trigger both of these and give plus four molt and plus 50 chips however a wild card also gets debuffed by all suit based bosses in essence a wild card is considered to be every suit simultaneously this is important to keep in mind as they can be both extremely powerful in your hands but extremely vulnerable to debuffs number six each voucher has a secondary powered up version that will not appear in the shop until you buy the first version of that voucher in your run. For example, Omen Globe, which allows for spectral cards to appear in Arcana booster packs, will only show up in the shop if the player has bought Crystal Ball earlier in the run. 
The most important example of this is with Blank Voucher, which on its own does nothing. However, it allows for antimatter to show up in the shop later in that run, and antimatter allows for an extra Joker slot. So when you buy Blank Voucher, what you are doing is basically unlocking the possibility of antimatter to show up later up in your run in the shop. Number seven, the uncommon, rare, negative, foil, holographic, and polychrome tags that you get from skipping all apply to the next Joker in the shop. However, it does not guarantee there will be a Joker in said shop. You can have shops with only planet or tarot cards, or in the ghost decks case, some spectral cards. Note, eventually the tag will still apply to the next Joker that does appear in the shop. That means, let's say you re-roll because you got only planet cards. The next Joker that appears on that reroll will get the tag applied to it. So it will become, if you had, let's say, the foil tag, that Joker will become foil. If you had the rear tag, the next Joker that shows up on that reroll will be rare. These tags do not apply to Joker booster packs or Jokers created in other ways, such as a Judgment Tarot card or Wraith Spectral card. These tags only apply to that top row of the shop via the next shop or a reroll. Hidden mechanic number eight, the amount of cards that show up to be modified in a Spectral or Arcana pack is equal to that of your current hand size. This means that if your hand size is larger due to vouchers or turtle bean or what have you, it does not only apply to when you are playing the game. Your hand size will also be larger when you open up these packs and you will have more cards to choose from when it comes to modifying cards via the spectral cards or tarot cards in your arcana and spectral packs. However, the same goes for smaller hand sizes. So if you had a stump man, which decreases your hand size by two while adding 300 chips, you're going to have less cards when you open up that arcana pack to choose from and you do have to use those tarot cards right away. This can be extremely powerful. Let's say you mix having a turtle bean, which gives you plus five hand size at the very peak, with opening up a spectral pack that gave you Ouija or Sigil. What Ouija does is it changes all cards to one rank, Sigil changes all cards to a single suit, so you can affect many more cards by having a larger hand size when you open up those packs. Of course, if your hand size is smaller, those cards become less valuable. So it's something to definitely keep in mind when opening packs. Mechanic number nine, brainstorms and blueprint jokers can copy the effects of one another and basically chain together. So your blueprint can be on the leftmost joker slot copying a joker to the right. This means that if you also have brainstorm and it's copying blueprint, it's gonna copy whatever blueprint is copying. This also means you can chain together multiple blueprints. If you had three blueprints in a row and then a joker all the way on the far right, let's say it's DNA, that means every single blueprint will copy DNA's effect. In essence, blueprints and brainstorms are compatible with one another. They're gonna take whatever effect that, that blueprint <laughs> or brainstorm that it's copying is taking. A little convoluted, hopefully, that made sense to you. I couldn't figure out a better way to explain it. But basically, this can work extremely well for high scoring runs because blueprint and brainstorms are fantastic jokers that allow you to change, you know, mid hand what it does. So let's say you had two or three blueprints, a DNA, and a hologram. Well, at the beginning, you can have all three blueprints focused on the DNA and you can create four cards and then have all three blueprints focus on the hologram, which just benefited from creating three or four cards. And finally, mechanic number 10, and one that I think is extremely important. The idol, a powerful joker that grants a specific card times two molt when played, is weighted based on the cards available in your deck. So if you had 80% of your deck being kings of hearts, it will select a king of hearts 80% of the time as a random specific card that gets the times two molt. However, Ancient Joker, which gives times 1.5 molt for each card scored of a specific suit, is not weighted. It will choose a random suit, whether you have any of that suit in your deck or not. It does not matter how much of that suit you have in your deck at all. So even if you're playing checkered deck, and you get Ancient Joker, it can pick clubs or diamonds. However, the idol, if you're playing checkered deck and let's say you have 18 tens of hearts and nine, nine of spades, it's only gonna choose those tens of hearts and nines of spades and it's gonna do so proportionally with how much is in. 
that's going to wrap things up. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I'm sure there's tons more to go over and we know that local thunk is working on a big update and there's going to be a lot more to cover throughout these weeks. Drop a like if you like this video, dislike if you didn't, hit subscribe if you've been enjoying the Blotro content, comment down below any hidden mechanics I missed or anything you think needs clarification or maybe I even got wrong because these are hidden mechanics, maybe I'm misunderstanding something. So once again, thank you so much for watching, hope you have a great day, we'll see you for the next one very soon.